Okay, here's one more about Israel. Are you familiar with Noam Chomsky's views on Israel? If so, how would you refute his argument? Well, I can't do it right now, but Noam Chomsky's views on Israel are borderline in, in I mean, he's, he's a um, dishonest uh, nut, in my view. He's, he's an evil human being. Uh, this is a guy who had positive views about Pol Pot and, uh, and, the, uh, and the, the Cambodian Khmer Rouge, who slaughtered 40% of their own population. This is a man who was sympathetic to the communist regime of Stalin. Uh, so this is not a man that I would take his view on any issue seriously. I think he is truly, uh, there are few intellectuals that I consider truly um, evil, and uh, Noam Chomsky is one of them. And I don't think you should take anything he says seriously. As I said, just his view, just as uh, for years and years and years, his apologism for, uh, uh, for Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge should disqualify him from ever having anything he says taken seriously. Now, I have refuted his views, not refuted his views point by point, but presented a positive case for Israel in my talks. And you can find those talks on my YouTube channel. So all you have to do is go to YouTube and, and uh, subscribe to my channel and search on the channel under Israel. And you will find many, you know, my moral defense of Israel. You'll find the rise and fall of the state of Israel, my critique of the state of Israel and, and how, how it came to be and how it declined. You will find um, many of my uh, talks on the, on the um, uh, you know, on, on, on the foreign policy of Israel and why I think Israel is right and the Palestinians are wrong. I also encourage you very much so to read Ilan Jono's book, which I think is also one big, massive refutation of Noam Chomsky's claim. Uh, so uh, look up Ilan Jono, and of course the name of the book has slipped my mind, so if anybody on the chat wants to remind me, I will, I will mention it. Um, yeah, I mean, Greg on, on Facebook, uh, you know, to, regarding my point about, about uh, Trump, I mean, he says, how can he count actions anyway? How does one enumerate? Is Trump's Korean policy one or two or five and how do you weight it? Do you weight it more than Israel, Israel policy or less than his Israel policy? What is more significant? The book by Elan Giorno that you should all read if you're interested in Israel, if you're interested in refuting, the, particularly if you're interested in refuting the ideas of Noam Chomsky. The book is called What Justice Demands. And, and